Hi everyone, Henry from Enterprise DNA here, and in this video we will be talking about forum pop-ups within Power Apps. What are forum pop-ups? Well, I have an example here that we will be creating together, but forum pop-ups are very powerful tools for you to provide a customized experience for your users and allow them to validate something that they're about to do in an underlying database. For example, if you go in your iPhone right now and try to delete an application, it will ask you, are you sure you want to delete it? The reason why that happens is to create a very good UI that contains validation steps to ensure that you actually want to do the action you're going to do. We're going to be doing the same thing within Power Apps. The reason why it's a bit difficult to do in Power Apps natively is because the way Power Apps works is you have elements that go on a screen. You can't have a screen superimposed onto another screen. So what we do is we use a grouping method to kind of mimic that. And if that was confusing, that's okay because we, were in, we will now go into Power Apps and actually do it for real. Now I'm in my Power Apps editor and I'm in the process of creating an expense reporting application for my business. Over here on the left-hand side of the screen, I have a gallery of all my expenses. And what I can do, for example, is I can click an, ex an expense and get more information about that expense on the right-hand side. For example, if I click Travel to Dallas Office, I can see more information about that expense report, like the description, the amount, the category, the status, and so on and so forth. What I can do in, in, in addition to this is I can click Edit, and on the bottom, I can actually delete this record as well. So if I click this garbage icon, it'll actually remove this record from the gallery. And that's why I can't even select it anymore. However, what I want to do now is create a form pop-up so that if a user goes in and actually deletes it, there's a message box that appears that confirms if the user actually wants to delete this record or not. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add in a rectangle that will cover the whole screen. So it will look like the screen is a little bit faded just to mirror the appearance of a screen being on top of one another. Okay. So I'll go to insert, then I'll go over here to icons and I'll go all the way to the bottom to rectangle. And I'll make sure that this rectangle covers the entire screen. Awesome. The next thing I'm going to do is I'll change the color of this to, let's see, dark gray. And then I'll go to the fill property of this rectangle. And you have the red, the green, the blue, but you also have the alpha value, which re represents the opacity or the transparency. We'll make the transparency 0.7. So it looks like it's kind of faded, right? What we'll then do is we will add in another rectangle. Don't know why it's always at the bottom. And this will be our pop-up box. Okay, perfect. We'll then add in a label. And in this label, we'll say, warning. Are you sure that you want to delete this record? And we'll make this a little bit bigger. Okay, that looks good. And let's actually make this a lot bigger, maybe 20 point font. And we'll make this in bright red, just so it really catches the user's eyes. Okay, perfect. Uh, and let's actually change the background color of this guy too, to a lighter shade of blue. Okay, perfect. What we'll then want to do is we want to show the user the record they're actually be deleting, right? So we want values like the name, the amount, and probably the category of the expense report that they're about to delete. So let's go back into our label and we will add something over here for name. And uh, I'll just copy this guy below. So we'll do name, uh, we'll do amount, And then we will also do 
category. Okay, perfect. And then we'll need the actual text over here as well. So what I'll do is I will create three labels over here. One for name, one for amount, and one for category. And what we want, the record that we want to show is based on what record has been selected in the underlying gallery, right? So the underlying gallery over here is called gallery one. So the name of the item that's been selected in gallery one is simply gallery one dot selected dot title. Okay, perfect. Make this bigger and then the amount as well. So we'll do the same thing. We'll do gallery one dot selected dot amount. And then finally over here, we will do gallery one dot select. Now this will be a bit tricky because we will use the status column. And remember, whenever we reference a choice column like status, we need to use status dot value instead not just the status. Okay, perfect. We'll then add in two buttons. So one button will be, you know, basically delete. And let's make this guy red. And then the other button will be just go back. Fantastic. Okay, let's make this green now. Okay, and we'll make this a bit shorter as well. Amazing, awesome. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to make sure that when someone clicks the garbage icon, that it doesn't actually delete the record, but instead it shows this pop-up box, okay? So what we're gonna do is we will highlight all the things in our pop-up box. So I'm going to click this and then hold control and then select all the other elements. And this is key over here. What's really nice about Power Apps is that it allows you to group elements together. So we've highlighted all these things, then we'll right click and then select group. And it's created a group called group one. What's nice about this is if you modify the property of a group, for example, like visibility, it will impact all the other properties. So it's very nice to being, you know, if you have something like this that all go fit together, it's really nice to group them because then you can control all the properties of those elements at once. For example, we want to control the visibility of all these properties and make them false for now. And it goes away. Awesome. Okay, so let's do this. Let's select the garbage icon over here. And we can see where, when it's selected, it does all of these functions and these functions basically make sure that the record has been deleted. Again, but we don't want that. So what we'll do is we will copy this and we will for now put it in an empty notepad just so that it's saved somewhere. So I've just put this in an empty notepad. Okay, this is the actual functions that we've created to delete the record. And we will simply just delete it and now we will create a new variable that will control when the form actually pops up, okay? So let's create a new variable. Call, we create a new variable by calling the set function. Let's name our variable confirm pop-up, okay? And we will set that to true, okay? And what we'll do over here is we will click play and we'll click it Let's click edit first, and then we'll click it. Now, Power Apps has an environment variable, right, called confirm pop-up that is set to true. We will then select the group and set the visibility property to that variable, which is, again, confirm pop-up, okay? Since it's set to true, we see everything, all the pop-ups again. What we're then going to do is click go back and we're going to have an action associated with clicking go back. So let's go to on select. And when someone selects goes back, well, simply enough, we want 
the visibility of group one to be false. And we know the visibility of group one is based on that variable. So what we'll do is we will change the variable confirm popup to be equal to false. So now if I go in here and click play, I can click go back. It sets the variable of confirm popup to false, which means the visibility of the popup also goes away. This does the opposite. This sets it to true. So you can see I can cycle back and forth like this. So now this actually looks like a pop-up in terms of you know, UX UI. The next thing we need to do is basically before when we clicked delete, there was a set of functions executed to actually delete the record. We need, we need to change the on select action of this delete button to execute those functions that we recorded here. Okay, so let's X out of this. We'll then go to delete. On select, nothing happens. I'm then going to copy this. I will then paste it here. And the last thing I need to do is after someone's clicked delete, we also want to get rid of the pop-up because it would be awkward if you clicked it, it actually deleted the record and then you're just sitting there twiddling your thumbs and waiting for the pop-up to go away, right? So what we'll do is we will add in another action and we will set the uh, confirm pop-up variable to false. Okay, and there we go. Now we have our entire workflow. So for example, a user can go in over here. They can look at this one over here. For example, buy new office supplies for the team. They can get more information about it. They can edit it. If they don't like this one, they can delete it. But hey, it gives them a warning. It gives them sufficient information for them to validate if they want to delete it. For example, the name, the amount. Now, this one's already been this one's been approved but not paid. So, whoops, I made a mistake. I'm going to go back. I'll then instead go to get back to the office event record. And let's say if I want to delete this guy, I can click this. I can click the garbage can. I can then delete it, which which again execute those functions and then it will get rid of the pop-up and it will be deleted. It's gone. It's not there anymore. And there we go. Those are how you would use pop-ups within Power Apps. Again, the two big reasons for using pop-ups is to really create, well, one is to create a customized experience for your users and B is to create some sort of validation for your users as well because it's beneficial to your users if you, for example, don't want them to be too liberal with this button. You can even have two checks or multi-select checks. You can even have something like, hey, make sure you read this PDF before you actually click the delete button. It's all about crafting a user interface for your users so that they don't have to go to the underlying SharePoint list or database and do it themselves and get confused with editing certain things and deleting certain things and all that. They can do it from the safety of a UI that they've, or that you've created for them so that they don't mess anything up. And there we go. Form pop-ups are a powerful tool to accomplish that. Let me know if you have any questions and leave comments in the comment chain below. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.